Now, you filmed in some really remote parts of South America, right? It's... Yeah, we shot, uh, we shot half of the film in Belfast uh -huh. to, uh, to um, double for London, and then we shot the second half, the jungle stuff, in northern Colombia. And what was, what was it like filming there? Was it, it looked quite tough. When I was watching, I was like, that looks like a nightmare. Yeah, I mean, you know, it's exciting to be in an environment like that, but one, there are certainly some challenges. I, uh, like what? What's, 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 what happens? Snakes, uh, scorpions, tarantulas. I'd be useless. Or, uh, lots and lots of mosquitoes. Uh, but of course, I managed to survive all of that being on set and in the jungle, but where I ran into a little trouble was in my hotel room, where I woke up one night with what sounded like a pneumatic drill in my oh. ear in intense pain. And I'd been through this before once with a girlfriend who had a moth stuck in her ear. So I immediately knew that something was in my ear canal. Uh, but we were working six day weeks and working very, very hard. And uh, it was our sixth day. So the, day, the next day was our day off and I didn't want to disturb anyone. So I MacGyvered it. I had like one of those netty pots, those irrigation, nasal irrigation things, right. and I filled it with water, and I <laughs> jetted it into my ear, which seemed to solve the problem. Uh, and I went back to sleep, and then I woke up and could feel it still moving around in my ear. <laughs> and I said, all right, now I'm gonna go to hospital. Yeah. <laughs> because yeah. this is not the medical treatment that I'm looking for. So this thing had burrowed in and couldn't get back out, and so it decided it was gonna eat its way through. <laughs> Goodness. Bit a hole in my eardrum. <laughs> so can you imagine? It no, was, I it can't. Was, it was not. <laughs> it was not the greatest Saturday night of my life. It sounds awful. Mm, yeah. And is it all right now? Can you hear? No, okay? it's horrible. I mean, I what? <laughs> there it is. Yeah, the other ones are the best. No, I, I, I have a little trouble. I mean, a bit a big hole out of my eardrum. So when I'm on planes, I have a little problem with my oh, ear now. Oh my goodness! But these things have happen. You, have you had any bad injuries on set? Uh, nothing like that. That's, no. um, <laughs> that's the worst thing I've ever. It feels bad if you go. Yeah, I got a bruise once. <laughs> 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 oh, <that's laughs> <story. laughs> uh, no, I would say Mandy Patinkin's bottom, which was the most traumatic thing that ever happened to me on set. He. Um, in the middle of a very intense scene about, I don't know, somebody dying, you know, Homeland, whatever, so something quite intense, just dropped... It. We didn't really speak much at the beginning. He's very severe. Now we're good friends. Dropped his pants and started... And just with his bum in my face, I was sitting. Was he wearing underwear? Um, it, yeah, but kind of... You didn't necessarily know that at first. <laughs> um, so it was one of those... Where, and I was sitting, and he's the senior guy. I just turned up on the show, and he started singing opera in the middle of the um, take. With his mouth? Uh, with his no, front with mouth. His front. Right. With his front mouth, yeah. He's a massive Ace Ventura <laughs> fan. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and you don't know what you're supposed to do because, you know, you're the new boy. You're the, yeah. you know, can I sit with you at lunch type guy. Uh -huh. And um, the answer was resounding no. But um, this, this, uh, this, this sight greets you and you just have to carry on. I've I learned that with Homeland, just, just carry on. Just carry on. That's <laughs> right. good advice for all of life.